So hi guys, my name is Mohammed Hamou. I'm from Syria. I'm Kurdish from my city uh, called Aleppo. So Syria was great. We were so happy. Everything was awesome. We were safe. Like, we were so happy. Like after a year, we started to hear that uh, war is starting this year. We were so scared. Like we were kind of scared and not scared. We were scared because um, <laughs> the war is happening in Syria. That's kind of scary. And we were not scared because um, because it's kind of far away from us. So yeah. Um, like after a year, we started to hear at the news that the war is getting closer and closer to us. We were kind of scared then. Uh, so in one of the mornings. We started to hear, uh, uh, we woke up um, and we heard some people screaming uh, and like we were hearing bombs like right next to our building so we were so scared then. Then we packed our stuff real quick and we went to a town called Afri. That's like a Kurdish place where we had some people there that we know. So we went there. After like eight months, uh, we, we, uh, somebody told us that I can make you guys cross the border to Turkey. We said, uh, yeah, we want to do that because uh, our friend uh, didn't have electricity, didn't have water. The water that we were drinking was from the lake. It was so disgusting. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so uh, we said, yeah, we want to do that. So we went to, uh, to Turkey. And so we went to Turkey, uh, and Turkey, we were, there was some pe some family there, so we went to their house and we spent there like a week. After after like a week, we found our own house. We went to it. There was like zero thing in it. There was nothing. Uh, so my dad went and bought a carpet. So he came and put on the floor. After he put on the floor, we had to make our, at the night, we had to make our jackets as a pillow. So it was so tiring. So like after a couple of months, my dad found out this program called the UN. And that's like, uh, you sign up for it and you go to another country. So we signed up for it because in Turkey we couldn't speak English, I mean Turkish. And like it was, we didn't like it because people was telling us go back to Syria, don't make war in our country, go back to your country and make war there. We were kind of sad, so we signed up for that program. Like after a year, uh, my dad told us that we got chosen by the USA. So we were so happy because it was one of our big dreams to go to USA. So we went there. Uh, I mean. Like uh, we had to do some, uh, we have to do some medical stuff and interviews. Uh, so after like a year, we found out that um, our airplane is gonna go to uh, to America. We said we packed our stuff real quick and we went to we went to the airport. Uh, so we, it was my first time on the airplane. So we went to America, to to New York, to a to the airport called JFK. Uh, we couldn't speak any English. I was so shy um, because people, other people, was uh, talking English with me, and I couldn't speak anything. I had to do hand signals to them to to make them understand. Then uh, from there, we went to a place called New Haven. Um, and we got out of the car. We saw some people holding board cards and saying to us, Welcome to the Hamu family. We were so happy, we started to cry. Then we went to our house. My mom started to cry because, because it was one of her big dreams to have a kitchen like that. Then I went upstairs and I finally saw my own bed. Because in Turkey I didn't have bed too, so I was crying so much. Like after a couple of days, I met this awesome kid na named Leland Hine. He was my first. He was the first kid that I met him in America. And he's my best friend right now. Uh, we went to school with each other, and 
we went to school with each other, and like uh, there is some words that I couldn't understand. He helped me with it, so he's such an awesome kid. Uh, so I just want to say something for all of those kids around the world, and especially Afrin, because they're getting bombed right now. I just want to say that I hope they live in peace. I hope they're safe, and I hope that. Uh, I hope that uh, like all of your dreams come true. And I hope all of your guys' dreams come true like mine did. I, I want to keep dreaming. And I hope all of your guys' come, uh, dreams come true. Thanks.